Set in the 1960s, the series, packed with mystery and suspense, depicts the adventures of paranormal leading character Dr. Ray Fat, a single hematologist who finds himself faced with a series of supernatural events. Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Movie Files. I'm here today to give you all my spoiler-free review for the new Egyptian supernatural mystery thriller horror show, Paranormal. I'm very excited to let you all know what I thought about this series and if you should check it out in this spoiler-free review before we dive into the details, as you can see on the screen now. Now, make sure you all are following me on all my other social media accounts. That way you can stay up to date on what's going on over here at Movie Files. If you are new to this channel, welcome to the community. Make sure you all subscribe and while you're at it, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my other Netflix series reviews, other TV coverage, movie reviews, live streams, and all the fun things we do on this very channel. Go ahead and do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up. It helps out the channel, but I also really appreciate it. And in the comments below, let's discuss paranormal. Let me know your pros, your cons, your favorite episodes, and if you want to see a season two for this show let's talk about it in the comments below so paranormal i knew nothing about the show up until friday i want to give a quick shout out to one of the amazing supporters of movie files and that is omar he hit me up on Friday, guys, and said, hey, Elliot, have you heard of this show, this Egyptian horror show on Netflix? I've heard great things about it. And I told Omar, no, man, I haven't heard about it. What is it about? And he kind of gave me a little bit of information about it. So that was Friday. And then come Saturday at 7 p.m., I spent the entire evening binging this entire six-part uh, series. And, man, I am so excited to let you all know about this show. And, and again, shout out to Omar. And also, this kind of my intrigued with this show so again knowing that it's an egyptian horror show i was already kind of hooked because earlier this year even though it was kind of a mixed bag we got patel which was an indian zombie show on netflix the thing that got me more excited than anything about the show even though i don't think it really stuck the landing I'm excited to see Netflix explore other international type of shows, other cultures, other horror type of cultures. Because I love, you know, whether it be Korean cinema, whether it be, you know, getting into Indian cinema, whether it be getting into Egyptian cinema. I love just exploring international type of content. So I was really excited to see what this show has to offer. And I'm here to let you all know if it's worth checking out. So I want to start this thing off with the positive, starting off with the actual payoff. Now, I wanted to start this review off talking about the word payoff because I think this series has such a well-developed and such earned payoff within this series without getting to the spoilers because to start this series off, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to talk about it a little bit later, but I wasn't necessarily hooked into the show until we got to like kind of the midway point of this series. But again, when you see this show, for those that see it, when you arrive and end at the sixth episode, it makes the beginning of the show makes more sense. It's a little bit more richer. It's a little bit more developed once you get to the finale. And I think the payoff is so well earned, which kind of, I want to transition a little bit into the story elements without getting to the spoilers. Our main character, Ray Fat, this doctor who is a non-believer, who believes in science, who believes that there's a reason behind everything. He doesn't believe in the supernatural, right? He says that there is a reason why the door is creaking at night, why there's a shadowy figure in your window. There's a reason behind everything. He has he he goes by Murphy's law. He goes by his own law and reasoning why there's supernatural things taking place in the world. And seeing that journey and seeing that non-believer, not necessarily turn to a believer without getting to the spoilers, but necessarily believing things that he sees and kind of having a reason behind that and seeing that journey was so incredible. And the show actually kind of reminded me a little bit of Stephen King's It, where without getting to the spoilers, you know, you have Ray Fat and his sister and his brother that have something pretty traumatic happen to them at a very young age. But as they gotten older, they've kind of buried that incident. They try to suppress their feelings of what happened. And, and again, it reminded me a lot of it. And seeing those kind of characters go through that trauma again and relive that and seeing them kind of, you know, fight for survival, fight for their family, seeing all that stuff kind of take place really makes the story really compelling and really kept me invested throughout this entire series. Now, I definitely want to highlight some of my favorite performances, starting off with our main character, Ray Fat who I'm not going to lie to you all, I wasn't a fan of the character. It wasn't that I wasn't a fan of the acting. I thought the actor was incredible from the beginning to the end, but I think the show's intention was for the audience not to necessarily root for this character. Again, he's not your traditional hero of a sense, right? From the way he carries himself, his hair, his dress attire, he's just a very standard, normal looking guy in the 60s, right? And I think that's very intentional. And I mean, just the things that really got under my skin with this character, whether it be how much he smoked, and this is coming from someone that loved Mad Men. They smoked a lot and there was a reason why they smoked a lot of cigarettes in that show but man Ray Fat was smoking so much I felt like I had lung cancer after watching this show but him doing all that stuff not taking care of himself the way he treated his fiance and that whole love triangle that we got with his fiance and Maggie you know it was just like this character is just making bad decisions after bad decisions and it was so 
so frustrating to see him not believe whether he comes across a mummy, whether he comes across a custodian, whether he comes across a possession, he would not become a believer. So again, it was the intention of the show for you not to necessarily be on board with our hero of the show. But again, by the time you get to the sixth episode, his arc was such an incredible thing to watch. And again, I definitely want to give a plaw to the actor in this role. I thought he did such an incredible job of showing this flawed character who has these inner monologues, who has this kind of discussion with himself, who has his demons to fight. I really enjoyed his performance and Ray Fat Man, one of my favorite characters this year of any TV show. I really enjoyed his arc from beginning all the way to end. Another character that really stood out to me was Haweda, which was the fiance of Ray Fat. Now, she was at, at the start of this series, without going into the details, she is the fiance of Ray Fat, and you can tell that she is willing to do anything to please this man, even though this man is not giving her the proper attention and giving her the proper respect that he should because she was such a great woman, right? But I really enjoyed her art because, again, she was very kind of narrow minded. She would just want to please her family, she just wanted to please her fiance. But by the end of the series, she becomes her own woman, right? and she becomes her own character and I really like the arc and development that we get within that character as well. And last but certainly not least, I wanted to highlight Maggie with the red hair, who we'll talk about that red hair a little bit later. But Maggie, to me, man, she was the only character that did not take the BS from Ray Fat. She called him out on his flaws. He, she called him out, even though he was a celebrity after the second episode, without going to the spoilers, she always was uh, confronting him about his flaws, right? And she was just such a great friend. And, you know, again, there's a love triangle without going to the details between Ray Fat, his fiance, and Maggie. But I thought Maggie was just a strong character. She she was just always want to face fear right on. She did not want to be left on the sidelines. She wanted to go on these adventures. She wanted to discover the mysteries of the mummy. She wanted to discover the mysteries of the flower. She wanted to help Ray Fat. She didn't give up on him, which is another thing I loved. Again, they have this type of relationship where they were, you know, they had a love interest in college, right? And years have went by. And again, I just really love uh, Maggie's Scottish accent. She was just such a badass character. There were some flaws that I had with Maggie, one in particular that we'll talk about, uh, talk about a little bit later. But I thought the Maggie character was just, again, she did not take the BS from Ray Fat. She was such a badass character. She was such a well thought out character and I really enjoyed the character that we got with Maggie. Now, transitioning to the tone of this show, which I personally think this show is more of a psychological thriller slash drama, you may see the title Paranormal and think that it's all about the scares and it's all about the horror, but no, it's more than that. It's more layered and more complex than what the title may allude to. And to me personally, I found that this show really tackled more of the psychological aspects and the drama aspects within the show, whether it be the romance that uh, Ray Fat goes through, whether it be the trauma that he goes through as a child, as well as his family and also his friends that take place very early on in the show. And then seeing the show kind of transition more into the adventure aspects. Again, this show has mummies, it has custodians, it has possession. And I thought that this show had a lot of different tones, even though some of them didn't always work for me at the beginning. But again, once you get to that finale, everything starts to come together everything makes a lot of sense and I like how the show kind of gives you different vibes and different genres within this actual show but again I think that the show did an excellent job of diving deeper into the psyche of our characters the literal mind of our characters and I had such a great a journey watching that show kind of unfold into these different genres and then really kind of pinpointing the psychological thriller horrific elements of the show that's really highlighted in episodes four five and six whether it's involving you know diving into this murdered ghost the sleep paralysis demon or one of the best moments of the show was exploring the backstory of this tragic ghost. I thought that those episodes really kind of shine in this show and it was really the kind of the best parts of the show, which really kind of transitioned to my favorite episodes. Episode six was one of the best episodes of TV I've seen all year. It gives us one of the best origin stories within all of 13 minutes. I made sure that I clocked that. I, I watched the time stack. So I'm just like, there's no way we're 15, 20 minutes into this episode. And within the first 13 minutes, man, when you learn the story of a particular character that's been haunting our main character throughout this entire series, I was emotionally wrecked. I was so invested in that story all within 13 minutes. So I thought episode six and also the rest of the episode was fantastic. But the beginning of the episode six was incredible. So episode six is my favorite. Episode five is my second favorite. Dealing with the mind of Ray Fat, dealing with his dreams, dealing with his maze and the sleep paralysis demons and all that stuff. I thought the episode was fantastic from beginning to end. And it was also a lot of tragedy that happened with an episode with that poor cat right <laughs> without getting into the spoilers and then I would say definitely episode four was my third favorite episode that dives deeper into a possession episode and dives deeper into the relationship with Ray Fat and his sister and his uh, his brother in particularly and also that story 
involving that ghost was very dark and very sinister and i was surprised that the show went to that level because it was rated tv 14 but again episodes four five and six get really mature and very horrific so the second half of the show to me was the best element without the entire series now wrapping up my positives i definitely have to highlight the production design of the show creating the show that takes place in the late 60s and really create that atmosphere was great as well as i thought that the consistent score of this show was incredible it was haunting it was creepy and it really was a character within itself so i definitely want to applaud netflix and also the creators of the show and also netflix giving the creators of the show this great uh budget to really bring us these different environments in egypt and labia and go into all these different environments i thought that the production was great the score was fantastic so i definitely want to highlight those things so with the positives being out of the way i want to kind of transition into some of my criticisms that i have with this show paranormal so speaking of the criticisms that I have the show, now I share with you all my favorite episodes, again, episodes six, five, and four, and it wasn't that I wasn't a fan of the first three episodes. I found the first episode to be really good, a really good premiere episode to kind of get you into this world and introducing you to the characters and all that stuff. Episode two was fine. That's where Ray Fat gets, becomes the popular paranormal guy and you meet, you know, the mummy story and all that stuff and stuff with his fiance. It was a good episode. Episode three, and this is where my main criticism comes in. I was not a fan of episode three. I thought the structuring of the episode was just kind of wonky. I thought the storytelling wasn't all that great. And then the biggest issue I have to show, I am so amazed that the visual effects were just, in my opinion, was really bad. It, it was because we, we go to all these different locations. We have these different environments. The acting is great. The production value is there. But when it came to the visual effects, and particularly in episode three with the custodian, which looked like a Flash character in CW, like the worst of the CGI, it was really bad and just consistently throughout the show. I thought the second half had a little bit more be better visual effects when it became, you know, in the dream sequence episode and all that stuff. But, man, the mummy goes, some of the the ghost appearance in episode four. And then, again, the custodian episode three, the CGI in the show was very bad, which is really, really kind of um, is disappointing because, again, the production value was there. But episode three was the worst episode to me. And that custodian character, that creature, was just really, really bad. But transitioning to some other things that I didn't really like about the show, I mention it briefly now this is a minor thing but it was something that stood out like a bad sore thumb and that was the 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 look of maggie now i know the show is based on books like 81 books to be precise now i don't know if it was a creative choice that maggie had her red hair and the, kind of the contacts which appear to be contacts in her eyes i don't know if that's just how the actress looks i don't know if that's how the uh character looks in the book and they want to bring the character to life but i don't know it sounds like a minor thing but that red hair and those what appeared to be eye contact, just visually speaking, was I wasn't a fan of the, the look of Maggie. I love the character, but the look, it just didn't stick with me. You get used to it, but it's still like, I don't know why that look just bothered me. I might be like totally uh, blowing it out of proportion, but let me know what you all thought about the look of Maggie. Now, before I give you all my final thoughts of this show, and if you should watch it, make sure if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my other videos. Leave your thoughts in the comments. We can talk spoilers, but if you're going to talk spoilers make sure you put spoilers in bold space it all the way down and we can dive into the show with that being said let me give you guys my overall thoughts and if you should watch the show on netflix so overall, for a show that started off a little rough for me, I'm not going to lie, I wasn't all that invested at first, but by the end, I love this series. It's a lot of fun. It has a lot of rich and developed characters. By the time you get to the end, the payoff was such worth the watch. I can't stress enough how impressed I was by episodes five and six, and I hope Netflix gives this show a season two because I want to see more Ray Fat, his family, and exploring that character that's revealed at the end. So I am giving this a stamp of approval from Movie Files. I highly recommend you guys give this show a watch because I I really enjoyed this show, Paranormal, and man, again, that ending was fantastic. So with that being said, man, I hope that Netflix continues this trend. Again, I wasn't the biggest fan of the Indian uh, show, Patel, the zombie show. I love what we got from the Eddie, which is a Paris show, and I love that Netflix is giving us more international shows because I personally love exploring other cultures and telling new stories. So I want more of this Netflix. Give me more and give me a season two of this show because I love this show. So that's my thoughts. Let's let me know what you all thought of this series. Also, again, shout out to Omar for recommending this show. Uh, thank you for letting me know about this show. I appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed the show as well. Hope you enjoyed this review. With that being said, again, make sure you like, share, comment your thoughts below. We can definitely talk spoilers. But if you're going to talk spoilers, make sure, again, it's in bold letter spoilers. Space it down. And we can dive into all the details about episode five and six and what we hope to see in a season two. So, again, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you don't miss any of my other content. Hope you all enjoyed this review. Hope you're staying safe and we'll see you all on the next video.